Good day! I'm Camille M. Macanilo, third year student nurse from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. And for today's video, I will teach the client how to use incentive spirometer. The goal of this procedure is for the patient accurately demonstrates the procedure for using the incentive spirometer. The equipment will be used is incentive spirometer. And for the implementation, number one, review chart for any health problems that would affect the patient's oxygenation status. Number two, bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table. Number three, Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Number four, identify the patient. Number five, close curtains around the bed and close the door to the room. If possible, explain what you are going to do and why you are going to do it to the patient. Number six, assist patient to an upright or semi fowler's position if possible. Remove dentures if they fit poorly. Assess the patient's level of pain. Administer pain medication as prescribed if needed. Number seven, demonstrate how to Steady the device with one hand and hold the mouthpiece with the other hand. If the patient cannot use hands, assist the patient with the incentive spirometer. Number eight, instruct the patient to exhale normally and then place lips securely around the mouthpiece. Number nine, instruct patient to inhale slowly and as deeply as possible through the mouthpiece without using nose. If desired, a nose clip may be used. Number 10. When the patient cannot inhale anymore, the patient should hold his or her breath and count to 3. Check position of gauge to determine pro progress and level attained. If patient begins to cough, split an abdominal or chest incision. Number 11. Instruct the patient to remove lips from mouthpiece and exhale normally. If patient becomes lightheaded during the process, tell him or her to stop and take a few normal breaths before resuming incentive spirometry. Number 12. Encourage patient to perform incentive spirometry 5 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours if possible. Number 13. 
Number 13, clean the mouthpiece with water and let it dry. And number 14, remove PPE if used. Perform hand hygiene and document all the procedures.